Welcome to the world, everybody. Good afternoon, good morning, good whatever it is for you. Um, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul video earlier this week, you know that I have a bag full of makeup. And that's because for a while now, like pretty much since I started this channel and before I started, like put up my first ever video, I knew I wanted to do a full face Dollar Tree only, um, kind of a first impression kind of mishmash of everything. Um, but mostly it's, it's a full face of Dollar Tree only makeup using Dollar Tree only tools. And I was really excited about this. I was kind of slowly gathering stuff, which is how I got a whole bag full of makeup instead of like just a few pieces. Um, and then as I was gathering stuff, I realized just how much I was really in for because I am a very, 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 very pale person. And I couldn't find a foundation shade to save my life that matched me. Um, there wasn't a BB cream. There wasn't a liquid foundation. There wasn't even a concealer that matched me, y'all. Or, like, there were some highlighting sticks, but their highlighting sticks were all, like, super, super shine. And they were, like, crayons. Um, and I also got some tools. And they're not the tools I'm used to using, but I did get, like, a little kabuki brush. Sorry, I haven't had my coffee yet. And I got a squisher, an eyelash squisher. And I got myself some, you know, basic brushes. And as you know, if you've seen my tutorials, I will use like my Mary Kay CC cream using my hands to apply that, but I prefer to use my beauty blender. Dollar Tree doesn't have a beauty blender. What Dollar Tree does have is a silicone blender. So, um, that's going to be interesting. And just in case that doesn't work, I got cosmetic wedges because I was, I, I hoped they might. I hope, I, I had, I've, I've got high hopes for this, y'all. Um, and just to kind of update you guys, I did also, I've got like other videos coming. I've got some first impression product videos coming. Um, I also ordered myself a train case off of Amazon to keep my makeup in. So when that gets here, I'll do a review on that. But we're today for the first look, cause we're going to do two of these videos. We're going to do kind of more of a natural like day to day look. And then we're going to do a full glam look. Granted, we're not going anywhere, but full glam is fun. Also, if you saw my Dollar Tree video, you already know I got ace bandages because I was like, I'm going to need them at some point this summer, some point this summer. Mind you, I got these ace bandages last week. I had no way of knowing I'd need it this soon. I messed up my ankle yesterday, so I've got a hot pink ace bandage wrapped around my foot right now. So that's the thing. Okay, so... We're going to kind of do like a shop from the bag kind of thing because I don't remember what all I got. I just remember not all of it's in my shade. Um, so one of the things I got now, I am a firm believer of lip scrubs. I adamantly, the main, the, I, the, since I've been introduced to Mary Kay, the only lip scrub I use is the satin lips, um, sugar, Shea Sugar Scrub, Lip Scrub. Um, but I know not everybody has the ability to do that. And so when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I thought, why not give it a shot? I'm not going to do this before my makeup because I want to do this at night when I'm taking it off so that if I have any kind of a reaction, I'm not putting stuff on top of it. So I'm going to try that and I'll let you guys know what I think about that in the full glam video because today we're just doing the basic video. Um, and so we're going to kind of shop from the bag and get what we need. I know we're going to need mascara. I picked up the LA Colors Dramata Lash for with an hourglass shaped brush. And I know we're going to need primer. I got the clear one because it says the clear is supposed to minimize pores. This is again LA Colors um, face primer, pore minimizing. I didn't want like the yellow or the cool pink or the peach because I didn't, my the foundations I got are dark enough. I didn't want to make them darker accidentally. 
Um, and then I got a BB cream for this kind of lighter look, I'm hoping, because what it is, is it's a, the, so the difference between BB cream and a CC cream is a CC cream is more of a tinted moisturizer, where this is more of just like a really light foundation with a couple of skincare benefits thrown in. Um, medium one was the lightest shade they had, y'all. I'm not medium one. So we're just going to hope that using either a very, very small amount of this, or we're going to hope that some of these powders I got that I know are lighter might be able to like even things out for me because this is so dark. Um, I don't think I got like a powder contour cause I'm going to have to hope that with like, uh, my brain just froze with highlighting, it'll like calm its butt down. Um, and I did get a pressed powder in nude, hoping to kind of calm that down. But guys, even this, like, it, it's, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up looking like a new Oompa today. And then I've got LA Colors Loose Powder and LA Colors Finishing Powder, which are pretty much the same thing. One is compact, one is loose. I'm hoping one of these will, like, lighten things up. We'll probably go with the compact one today because it's going to give me a lighter coverage. It's going to be more sheer. Um, and then I also found an LA Colors setting spray. It's like travel sized. Uh, it's got aloe vera extract in it. And surprisingly, there's no alcohol in this. So we'll see how that does. I'm really surprised there's not alcohol in this. Usually in those kinds of things, you find alcohol. Um, I did also find this. I found this in three colors, but the one I'm taking out today is the uh, Cheers. It's like a brownish color because I want to go with more of a natural look. And I naturally want to be covered in glitter. So that's going to be a thing today. And then I've got some other stuff. I've got a highlighter in here somewhere. So I got this blush. It's kind of like a peachy pink shade. I will show you guys more when like, I get everything out. And right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to find the... There we go. Okay. And then I got this for like my eyeshadows to go under that glittery one. Because life, I'm not going to do lashes, but I am going to do eyeliner, maybe brow pencil, definitely. I'm going to have to open all of this up. And I've got two different kinds of highlighters. I've got this like kind of less sparkly one and the super sparkly one. I think I'm going to go with the super sparkly one because glitter. And then I got a couple of different lip colors and I'm just kind of deciding what lip color I want to use. I have um, one long lasting tinted lipstick, which I'm not entirely sure what that is because last I checked lipstick is pigmented and tinted anyways. So that's an interesting thing. But I got a red, like a berry, and then like this kind of light pink mauve color. And so I think what I'm going to do is first I'm going to do my eye makeup and then we'll kind of decide what we want the lips to look like. And we've got the, oh, I just realized. Well, apparently our eyeliner is brown, so that should go interesting. And while I did get lashes, I got them mostly for the glam look, so I'm not going to be using them today. So we're going to put this off to the side over there, and we're going to get started. First thing we're going to do is open everything. We're going to try. Because apparently it doesn't want to open this morning. We're going to swatch things kind of as we open them. And then we'll start putting stuff on our face. 
So this is the LA Colors eyeshadow like triplet. And the colors are called Sunflower. I'm gonna pop this open so that I can show you the colors. without the glare from the case. So we've got two mattes and a shimmer right here. Um, and so that's the dark one. That's the medium toned one. You can't really see it. And that's the glitter. Oh, that glitter. That glitter's really nice. And all I did was like barely touch the top of those guys. So that's going to be an interesting one to check out. Um, this I want to open up because I'm really curious how the formula of this is. Because I love using uh, liquid eyeshadows. But I've not seen them too many other brands and places. But I'm, so I'm really excited about this. And this is the LA Colors Liquid Eyeshadow Metallic in Cheers. And it says it will not crease or transfer once it's dry. So. I just kind of use this part of my arm right here. I mean, ah, that way. It's definitely got some pigment to it. And a little, oh, wow. Oh, wow. I blended it out a little bit, but it's still got like shine. I'm curious how that's going to work on my eyes. That's, that's impressive. about to do a really bad thing don't do what I do I'm just gonna use a little bit of whatever liquid I've got kind of around here to try and get this off and that just unfortunately happens to be rubbing alcohol don't use rubbing alcohol to remove your makeup kids it's a bad idea I don't use makeup wipes I use eye makeup remover but I don't have any near me um, as I'm sitting here thinking about it I'm not gonna swatch everything because if I do that it's gonna just take way too long so we're just going to get everything open, get my face primer on, which I could not for the life of me find an eye primer. So it's also going to be my eye primer. And then we'll get started on the makeup part. If I can get things open. There we go. I'll probably either fast forward through all of this or cut it out. This is the face of someone rethinking this decision. Because some of this stuff smells really chemically. Now, I know your guys' Dollar Tree isn't going to have everything my Dollar Tree has. Um, and I actually had to go to a couple of different Dollar Trees. I'm really lucky that there's like three around me. There's four around me. I just went to the three closest ones. Um, cause two of them are like five minutes from my house in opposite directions, but not everybody has that luxury. Meh. Make sure to get our squisher open. Gonna set up a paper bag here. 
all of my junk. One of these days, I will get a garbage can to go like right here by my desk. Right now, I'm just going to use a paper bag. So that everything is out of the way. Get my brushes out. Boom. So once we get the kabuki out, it definitely fluffs up a bit, but it's not the softest kabuki brush. I mean, I didn't expect a lot because it's a Dollar Tree brush, but I, I had hopes. And I'm realizing that the Kabuki brush and the BB cream are by the same brand. They're by Sassy and Chic. The silicone blender is by Swispers, which I use their cotton rounds. Their cotton rounds are good. If I can get it open. Without cutting myself. There we go. Sometimes you just got to pull until it breaks. Which, yes, I realize that's not really the smartest decision. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that feels weird, guys. Like, it blends and it, or it squishes and it creases, but there's not like an extra case on it. That, that's going to be interesting. So, I think what we'll do real quick is get some primer on my face. I'm not going to use a whole lot of this because I don't know how much it expects you to use. So we're going to start out with a little because you can always add more. You can't take it away. Oh, well, that went not far at all. Um, it's very fragranced. Kind of smells like my grandma's lotion. So we're going to go in with some more this time. And you know, for a clear uh, primer, this kind of washed out my skin. So maybe having a darker foundation won't hurt. I'm going to use a mirror because using that is not helping. Okay. Put it in my eyebrows. I can already tell by the way this is like gripping and setting on my face. It's not my biggest fan. I'll put just like the smallest amount on my eyes to try and give me a little bit of primer on my eyes. I don't know if that's the smartest decision, but it's what we're doing today. Thank you. Oh, wow, that washed me out. Okay. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I did have to cut out a little bit there because my husband had to rewrap my foot. Um, so we've got our primer on, and I wanted to let it sit for a couple seconds, see what it's going to do. It really, like, you can definitely feel it on your face. Um, it kind of feels like there's a layer of powder on my face, to be honest, which is really weird. Um... And I'm wondering if it's version of minimizing the pores is like just putting a layer over them. I don't know. Next, we're going to dig into the BB cream. <laughs> and I'm like scared of doing this, but we've got to do it. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Um, 
Oh yeah, that's that's like even before it reaches my face, you can tell that is not my color. Um, and we're gonna take my little mirror. We're gonna use the non-labeled side of this whisper thing. Let's see how this works. Okay. So I don't think I'm too far off my shade, which is really nice. Um, but we're going to get it the rest of the way on and then see what it looks like. This is definitely a dewy foundation. So I started with a very little bit because again, you can always add more. You can't take it off. Ow! Oh, I just stabbed myself in the eye with a blender. It's definitely not a lot of coverage. Oh yeah, you can tell that's not my shade. So we're gonna try and use my fingers to blend it into my hairline a bit. Onto my ears. And we're gonna blend it down my neck as much as possible. And we're gonna, I know I just used the beauty blender to do this, but I just gotta try and like, I don't know. I'm just kind of hoping that if I rub it a bit, <laughs> it'll like calm itself down, which I don't think it's doing. Mm. So, in person, this does not look as bad as it looks on camera. Let's see if I do this. Um, I'm trying to give myself a little bit more light. But in person, this does not look nearly as bad as it looks on camera. Uh, give me a second, guys. I'm, I'm being a little creative here to try and give myself some more light. Um, next, we're going to go over it with this little compact and probably the painful kabuki brush. And this actually has a little mirror in it, which will make life easier easier. I'm going to put this thing off to the side. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's not supposed to pick up product. Like granted, it didn't pick up a lot of product, but it still picked up some product and in a very weird manner. Um, I don't know if maybe I can try and pat what's on it off to my nose or something. Um, I know some people have said you can use these for like powder. Oh, well it picks up powder. Let's see if it'll use powder. Maybe I'm going to feel like I'm wearing six pounds of makeup, but this might be salvageable. Okay, that's all that that little Swisper thing is going to do. We're going to switch to the Kabuki. Ooh, that did not pick up a lot of product, but it sure made a lot of mess. Okay, we're going to switch to this little thing that came with it. Try and clean up some of that mess for one. And for two, we'll just kind of... I know they say these sponges are not meant for dragging, but that's about the only way I'm going to get this to blend. That I'm hoping to be able to blend this at least a little bit. And now I know you can... Okay. I know you can build BB creams to a higher coverage. However, I also know that BB cream is not my shade. And if I try to build it anymore, I'm going to look like I'm wearing an Oompa Loompa mask. 
So we'll just kind of leave that there and start on the eyes. And what we're actually going to do, we're going to be a little bit creative here, guys, after we get this thing open. Because okay. this little thing that I showed you comes with just these three colors. We're going to use a little bit of the Beauty Benefits blush that I picked up, if I can get it open, as like a blending, oh, that's sparkly, as a blending shade for our crease. Um, we're also going to try to multitask here because I think I do want a little bit of contour. So we're going to get this like, <laughs> it literally says contour brush from Wet n Wild that I got. And we're going to use a little bit of this darkest shade of eyeshadow. Hope it's not too warm for me, but I mean, nothing else is my shade, so it's not really going to hurt me if it is too warm. And try and get a little bit of like contour on my face. And I'm just dabbing it on very, very lightly because you can always add more. You can't take it away. Fun fact, this brush doesn't blend worth anything. So we're going to try with the Kabuki. See what that does. Kind of pinch it to give it a little bit more presence and then blend the bejesus. Oh, that's not blending. Oh, is this a bad omen of what's going to happen with my face makeup or my eye makeup? Mm. We're leaving it alone. We're not doing anything else contour wise. Like I will add blush and I'll add highlighter. I'm not trying that contour again. Nope. Mm -mm. While we're at it, we may as well just like blush ourselves. We're going to use the, this like, wow, this is a lot of fallout. fallout. Like, well, maybe I can't pick it up. See, all of that fallout. We're going to use it like we normally do, like right above our contour just to give my face a little color. Okay. Just a little bit like pretty sure I don't need a whole lot more color than what my face already has. But a little bit on our nose. I'm gonna leave the highlight for last and Pray <laughs> that it doesn't disappoint me. I might use a little bit of this LA Colors, try and brighten up like high points of our face. I keep using this contour brush because this is the brush we have. I really like packed on this finishing powder. Um, normally, I'm an eyes first kind of girl. To be quite frank with you guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with my eyes yet. And I'm just praying that there's not a lot of fallout. Because if there is, I'm kind of screwed at this point. So, I was just going to use that on the high points of my face and then I decided to put it all over my face. So now that you're up to date, we're going to grab one of these fluffier ish brushes. So we're going to get out the floofer brush because we're going to do some blending. We're going to get out the all over shadow brush because we're going to use that to like pat our colors on. And then we're going to get out what they call a smoky liner brush because that's what I want to use to like this because this is going on my face today because I naturally enjoy it. So first we're going to go in with the peachy blush shade. Try and pick some up on this brush. 
The difficulty with this shade and these brushes is the tips of these brushes are pink and that is a pink shade and so you can't really tell like if you've got a lot of color on. Okay, we're gonna just kinda like stick that in the crease. And again, this is more of a fun thing and less of an instruction thing, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot of, cons of instruction. I'm just gonna kinda play. That's a lot of pink, so we're then gonna You know, it picks up a whole lot, and it was super pigmented, like, on my on my face, but when you put it on your eyelids, it loses a whole lot of that pigmentation. Like, a whole lot of that pigmentation just lost in translation. Let's see if using the floofer will like change things at all. It blended away to nothingness, guys. Like that little bit that you're seeing, that, that's... I had like three times that amount of product on my face. And it blended away to nothingness, so... More on. Like, I know this is supposed to be like a natural day to day look for me, but my natural day to day looks are still pretty out there. And there is nothing out there about this. Like, the all over shadow brush is putting it on my eye, and the floofer, instead of blending it out, is picking it right up off my eye. I'm not happy about this. At all. So we're just going to use the floofer. Because like this floofer is, I put no product on this. All of the product that was on my eye is now on this floofer. And this stuff is falling out so I'm going to use the floofer, pick up some of the super sparkly shade. And just kind of brush that all over the freaking thing. Oh, and this hurts my eyes. Oh, this is going to be a fun day, guys. Gonna be a fun, fun day. So we're going to get this smoky liner brush because we're going to hope that the glitter is going to save this. I really liked how it swatched on my arm. Let's hope it's going to swatch as well on my eye. Let's hope it'll also set some of this other junk in place so it'll stop hurting my eye. I'm going to pick it up off of the doe foot applicator and apply it with a brush because I want more control over where it's going. That's pretty okay. Not mad at this. I do have to dip again. Now one of the reason, one of the other reasons I'm using a brush for this as opposed to just using the doe foot applicator is it, because it says to apply a thin amount and blend it out. And I'm just kind of patting it on because Glitter is, oh, that is so pretty. Oh, that is so pretty. It has a really weird cooling effect on my eye. But it's so pretty. Yeah. Put it on the other eye now. Make sure I've got the brush facing the right way. And what I'm kind of, do, kind of doing is just following the round of my crease and applying it there. I don't want to go like too overboard. I love glitter, but I don't want this like all over my eye. So I want to see if it really does dry down without creasing. I still think you definitely want to pat it on as opposed to rub it on because you get more 
color payoff that way. Try and scoop off what's on the edge of this. Because I patted on this side and I rubbed on this side, and this side's a little bit streaky. So this product I'm liking so far. Which is kind of sad because so far it's the only product I'm liking. It definitely makes one heck of a mess out of your brush though. But we're gonna leave that there and let that dry down while I do my brows. Try and close it. I am so far really impressed with that guys. I'm gonna try and get some of it off my brush real quick so I can put my brush down and not get metallic all over my desk. So we're gonna do my brows real quick and let that mat down. We're gonna hope that this color is gonna match my brows. Um, cause it was this or black and while some people can pull off black brows, I'm not one of those people. Not bad. I've definitely used worse products. So once you get the, like I don't want to call it lead because it's not lead, but once you get the product itself kind of warmed up, it spreads a lot easier, but then it also goes on a lot faster once you get it warmed up. So bear that in mind. And you're definitely going to want to use the brushy end to kind of <laughs> Ooh, that's that those are some those are some brows. Yeah, I'm going to pat this with my finger, see if it dried down. Yes, it did. I want to try this liner. It's an LA Colors eye marker. It's in brown. So I want to see if maybe a little bit of liner will fix this. Because one of my praise is that liner fixes everything. Well, it, it's something that I like to tell myself is if I don't like the way something's going, grab some liquid eyeliner and pray. I personally feel like there are very few things in the world that a good winged eyeliner. Holly Lynn, get off! Sorry, my cat. Oh, I don't know if I like this liner. This is really weird liner. Okay, it's definitely not going over that cream eyeshadow very well. I don't know if it's just because it's a felt tip. So I had to kind of like pat it over it. Oh, that kind of makes it better. The tip of my liner is now gold, but it kind of makes it better. Now we're going to use our squishy boy and then some mascara and then we'll pick out a lip color and highlighter. Oh, well, that was interesting. Kind of stuck to my lashes there. It didn't really do anything. Okay, it kind of did something. It definitely picked up product off my eyelid. So keep that in mind. I'll put on some of this mascara. Oh, it really is an hourglass shaped brush. Is it putting product on my lashes? I think it's putting product on my lashes. Uh, yeah. It takes like 80,000 swipes, but 
Maybe I just gotta be a little bit more aggressive. I don't know about you guys, but I wouldn't call that mega lashes. Wouldn't call that dramatic lashes. I'd call that barely there lashes. And the answer, guys, is yes. You just gotta be a little bit aggressive with it. Or a lot of bit aggressive with it. Depends on your preference. Like, I will admit the brush shape is great for lower lashes. And the barely there amount of product is pretty good for lower lashes. Definitely an interesting one. I'll say that. Now we're going to put on some highlighter. And then we're going to pick a lip color. And we're just going to take the same contour brush. Try and pick up some of this highlighter. Not picking up a whole lot of highlighter. Come on, don't fail me. Highlighter, I feel like, is one of the few products that it's really hard to mess up a highlighter. It just has to make you shiny and pretty and okay. Oh, okay. Takes a couple swipes, but it's there. It's just maybe a bit more subtle than I'm used to. I'm like swiping my thing, my, my brush a bunch of times on the palette. Oh my nose. Okay, the highlighter, guys, I'm not... The highlighter I like. So I so far, my favorites are this and this. Because they are amazing. The rest of it, the jury is still out. So we're going to grab a lip and hope that the lip redeems this look. And because I feel like a brownish eye is always great with a red, red lip, we're going to go with a red lip. And the slightly darker, we're going to go with the peachier, no, we're going to go with the pink one. We're going to go with the pink one and we're going to hope that it doesn't look weird with the red. Uh, so... These are both, again, LA cover Colors. This is the LA Colors Twist Up Pencil Lip Liner in Totally Pinkish. And the LA Colors Velvet Lip Mousse. And it says it's supposed to be a velvety matte texture. And the color is called Whipped. So... Let's see what happens. Let's see if... I did get the colors that I liked in this. All three colors. Came in four colors. It came in kind of an orangey, like, neutral tone. It wasn't very neutral tone. It was, like, very, very orange. And that doesn't look so good on my skin color. We're going to twist up just a bit of this. And we're going to go ahead and just do our thing. Ow. Why is this so sharp? Maybe if we go at it from an angle. Ow. Okay, good. I like my wing sharp, not my lip liners. Oh, that is really pink. And I'm trying really hard to be very precise with my lip shape because I don't have concealer that is a light enough shade to go in and try and fix this lip if I mess it up. Once you get like the sharpness down though, this is a pretty good little lippy. All right, red, don't let me down because I feel like there's a uh, red lipstick can either be really good or really bad. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, that's definitely a winner. The fact that I can do my top lip without even having to re-dip and it's that pigmented and it's like a blue red. It's not like an orange red. That is a winner, guys. Oh, I'm really glad I picked up those other colors. I really hope. I just got it everywhere. Oh, oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no. <laughs> you knew. Oh, that was not goal there. Mm. Maybe my magic trick with my other primer will work with this primer. I'm kind of hoping here. I don't think it will. Probably going to mess it up more, but let's find out. Kind of dab it on there. Um, I mean, it kind of worked, but not the way I wanted it to. Maybe that'll work. Mm. We're going to use the back of this brush, and I'm probably going to regret it in about two seconds, but... Better. Better. I don't have red all over the side of my face, which is a plus. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Is, is it my favorite look? No. Is it what I thought it would be for Dollar Tree makeup? Most of it, yes. However, these four products are bomb. Considering I didn't, like, it looked like I used a whole lot on my face, but I didn't. Um, I will use this again, especially my next look. I think this helped a whole lot more than the compact did. So the LA Colors finishing powder is okay. These are bomb. I am keeping all of those. Um, the eyeshadow palette, I feel like is very picky. The brow pencil, I could take or leave. The blush I could take or leave. The BB cream, I gotta wear it to kind of decide. Uh, the liner, it, it's a liquid liner. It's a basic liquid liner. Oh, and that dries down really nice without being sticky. Guys, I'm, I'm liking this. So this is the look. Stay tuned for the next one. It's gonna be in way more fun colors than this. Um, depending on how the products decide to act. But like overall, I'm not mad at it. Like, comment, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think of it. Like, are you mad at it? What do you think? I'm really in love with this lip. Like I love this lip. I love this liquid eye. And the highlighter, like it's not what I'm used to. I'm also used to purple highlighter because I like to be like fairy. Um, I want to burn this. I don't like this kabuki brush. I want to burn it. But that aside, I need to go find my cat because I think she's crawling through one of my cupboards again. So, yes, she is. Uh, be kind to one another. Be the change you want to see in the world. Remember, a smile is infectious. And stay tuned for the next one because I'm intrigued to see where this is going to go. Nice chatting with y'all. See you later.